So did you buy me any stuff on that website for Christmas? What website? The, the one I was with the toolbar, the free toolbar, the shoppinggenie.com. I ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> Come on, please. I don't like surprises. No. I want to apologize to two people in advance, um, Shea Carl and um, Kasim G, because um, uh, my station friends. Because um, I know sooner or later, y'all going to say another little black joke and I'm going to hurt your feelings. So I'm just letting you know now, I you apologize. Can huh? I, said you can hurt your I can hurt your feelings. So I'm, I'm going to do it funny. You know how y'all be throwing out the little black jokes or whatever? Not, not that y'all do it all the time, but every now and then, it's, you know, I, let me let me rephrase that because I'm gonna have y'all thinking that they racist. They not racist. Sometimes they'll be like, oh, and this is our new whiteboard, and this is the blackboard, and a black guy. And it's like, <laughs> do you know how old that ship gets? So anytime y'all say something a little flipping and funny like that, it's coming. So I'm apologizing in advance. Only you can prevent this. Elena Scotchy. Oh, I don't even know what your name is. I, I know you have a different name now or had one. But my first crush was kindergarten. This Italian girl, Elena Scotchy. Oh, baby, Wait, baby. Man. Yeah, baby. What's up? This is kindergarten, baby. This is kindergarten. What's up? No, I'm just trying to remember because um, I know you have a thing for the thick girls. No, we were two, we were two kids. She wasn't thick. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were kids. Um, so Elena Scotchy was my first crush. Love that girl. Puppy love, puppy love, kindergarten, you know, whatever. So, but she had, she had an older brother and an older sister that went um, to our school. We all, we were in kindergarten and I, who knows, they may have been like sixth, seventh grade, I don't know, much older, much older. Um, and I, I could be wrong, but you know, I picked up on those vibes early when I was younger. Her older sister was cool. I don't remember her older sister's name, but I remember her older brother, Dominique. Dominique, I could be wrong, and if, if I am, I apologize, brother, but I believe you was a racist motherfucker. Either that or you just didn't like me. Either way, I, I know I'm right on the you didn't like me part. That part I know. Anyway, so, man, me and Elena, man, we was cool after school. We went to the same after school program and all that stuff. Loved Elena to death, but, you know, it was kind of that, um, especially back in those days. See, y'all can get away with it now, but still, you know, this is the early... This is early, no, late 60s. 60s. I, ain't, I wouldn't. <laughs> this was late 70s. You didn't see too many interracial. We was in kindergarten. I'm talking about interracial couples. This is ridiculous. Anyway, you know, it was just still kind of a weird thing, you know, if, uh, if you was white or Italian, or whatever, and had a black boyfriend and vice versa, whatever. But, you know, you always had that something. You could feel it. We, we felt the connection. We felt it. Anyway, I had some issues in school. I was headed in the wrong direction. Not, not, you know, I wasn't like a bad kid. I was just playing around and messing around all the time. I was disruptive to the class. So basically the teacher, you know, told my mom, hey, listen, you know, if you don't do something with David, it, it's not going to be good. You need to, you know, give him some, get, get him in a place where there be some structure because the public school is just not going to work for him. So, anyway, she sent me to a different school. So, I hadn't seen Elena in, uh, in years, you know. I always, always thought about it. Years go by, I'm in high school. This is like six years later. And uh, this is before cordless phones. Yes, life before cordless phones and cell phones. I know for some of y'all that's crazy, that's crazy. But anyway, I'm at home on a Saturday. This is six years later. And I get a phone call, right? And, uh, you know, I pick up, and y'all know how I answer the phone. I'm just, I'm just goofy. I picked up the phone. I was like, who oh, is it? Sounded all mad and shit. And um, I hear, uh, is, is this David? And I'm like, yeah. I said, who? And that's, I remember saying this. Yeah, who the hell is this? Just playing around, you know. And then uh, I hear Elena. Elena Scotchy. And I said, oh, and I got so happy, I jumped up. And we had a raggedy, you think it's funny, huh? She laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I had a raggedy phone and the damn cord came out of the damn phone. The clip was broken and it hung up on her. And this was before Good. Good. <laughs> This was before the Star 6 9 days, folks. And I was like, "Oh my gosh." And I plugged it back in and I waited for the call back. And she never called back. Oh, she never called back. <laughs> Get off of me! You don't even like her. <laughs> so, like so Elena, if you if you if someone knows Elena Scotchy or whatever her name is now, please tell her 
it was an accident that I, I I hung up on you. I did not hang up on you on purpose. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so damn sorry. And then years later, this is how much of a crush she was for me. Years later, so now I'm like 22 or something. And a, a buddy of mine was best friends with a detective. So I'm like, you know what? There was this girl, Elena Scott, you had a crush on, blah, 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 blah. See what you can do. He comes back with like this whole history, like who she married and all this stuff. So I'm like, cool. I just wanted to, you know, reach out and say, hey, how you doing? Just see how she was doing. This is my first crush. She was married at the time or divorced. I don't know. Ooh, I'm telling all her business. Anyway, she, I know, right? You put her first in Wait, wait, wait. How much did she make though? A year. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he ended up getting not her phone number, but her brother's phone number. That motherfucker Dominique I was telling y'all about. So I called him, left a message. Hey, Dominique, I don't know if you remember me. You know, blah, blah, blah. I was a friend of your sister's. Um, you know, if you get, you know, give her my number. Um, you know, you know, tell her who I am, you know, and, you know, and ask her to give me a call when she gets a chance. You know, you think that motherfucker gave her the number? No. Wrong. Wrong. So, yeah, I apologize, Elena Scotchy. I did not hang up on you on purpose. All right. So now this is your opportunity in the comments to apologize to someone who you have wronged, whether on purpose or by accident. Do it. Let them know. Be a bigger person. Get it off your chest. Let it go. Let the release the pain. Release it. Hey, hey, hey! You know that is skin underneath that hair, right? Hello, hello. I will. I will not say your name because that would even for be, the new. yeah, be even more embarrassing for me because I truly apologize for this. Okay, so how can I put this delicately? All right. Um, I'm sure you remember this because it's kind of hard to forget. Um, but when I was in high school, you know, I, I, there were, there were different people, you know, you had your golf people, you had your hip hop people, you had your skater people. And I was like a mix between the skaters and the hip hop people. this one goth girl in particular and this man this was before goth was even really like cool you know um so she really stood out in class and <clears throat> that's fine listen <clears throat> i can get over people looking different that's not a problem but when you uh when you act crazy see that's what that's why that's when you get the you know the kind of strange looks from me or whatever you know i you can have all kinds of bones coming through your mouth and through your nose you can have a damn cone for a, a belly button piercing i don't give a fudge but it's how you act and react uh with people is is what you know makes me think you might be strange sometimes so anyway this is one person in particular at the time now mind you mind you i was i was a much younger kid um and who's to say you were strange you were just strange to me you could you were perfectly fine i was a strange motherfucker but this is what my dumb anus did so, you know, she had the black, you know, everything all black, you know, the fingernails, all that stuff was fine. Which, you never got to really see her face, you know, because she always had the hair down in front of her, the black eyes or whatever. So, she looked like a damn angel of death all the time. So, you know, and, and I'm afraid of the angel of death. I stay away from the angel of death, as, <laughs> as many of you should. So, anyway, I don't know what happened, but one day... And, you know, always wearing the boots and everything, and that's fine. But here's the thing. One day, I don't know why, if she decided to, or if her parents were making a go somewhere, I don't know. But she came dressed in regular clothes. Like, in a bit of the, the dress was beautiful. Um, you know, she had on the pumps, you know, the, the high heel shoes. And you could tell she wasn't used to walking in them. And so all the girls in class were like, oh, my gosh, oh! giving her hugs and shit and I don't know why but they the girls for whatever reason needed my motherfucking approval so they brought the girl to me you know and I've always been a straight 
forward dude. Unfortunately, sometimes a little too straightforward. And you got some, something to say to me about <laughs> So, they bring the girl to me, and they're like, oh, look at so-and-so, what do you think? And, you know, like, she looked, she looked all right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she wasn't no, no Holly Berry or Raina Spates. So, you know, I, I just said the first thing that came to my mouth, which was, wow, you look better. Yeah. Yeah. That's not nice. Yeah. I, 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 it just came out so wrong. It came out so wrong. You look better. I did not. I'm, I'm, ooh. And needless to say, I was the anus hole for the day because <laughs> all the girls were pissed off at me and I hurt the girls' feelings and I feel bad to this damn day. But don't be putting people on the spot like that. I'm sorry. You were a beautiful young lady, and I'm sure you're even more beautiful now. And I apologize from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry, my ignorant, dumb anus said some bullshit like that. I said I'm sorry, ship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ship. I'm sorry. Huh. So, those are the so those are three things that have been haunting me most of my life that I felt bad for and never got a chance to see the people again and apologize. So you can't hold that shit in forever. So this is my way of apologizing and letting it go. Man, I feel like like kid and play with this haircut. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Ain't, Ain't gonna, gonna hurt nobody. nobody. We just dancing, dance, baby. Ain't gonna hurt Ain't nobody. Out there on the, on the floor. floor. Ain't nobody gonna hurt you. So baby cakes, how long does this whole process take, usually? One hour. One hour. You know I use head and shoulders, right? But you don't have the angel. Exactly. We always get a good laugh on blog TV when I'm doing my shows, when I get my hair braided. It's always certain people that say, Dave, you cut your hair. How'd you get all those lines in your haircut? So now you know. And baby, I was thinking you could uh, braid up Shay Carl's beard. <laughs> so to better explain the process for you, right now she's using the hot comb. What the hot comb does for black people, it helps straighten the hair out. Therefore, it's easier. Why black people? White people use hot combs too? Anybody that got nappy hair? I'm not a hair. White people have nappy hair? Some Latin people, some Jewish people. Yeah, well, today we're talking about black people. How about that? That's racist, man. <laughs> that is. Only black people can use a hot comb. What's wrong? With you? That's right. If you're not black and you use a hot comb, you're going to hell. It says that in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. I'm just saying. You wonder why black people use a hot comb? It helps straighten out the hair and there. It makes it easier for her to do her thing with the braids, man. Yeah, dude. Woo, that is a mohawk. So we're looking good, we're looking good? Yeah, that's it. All right, all right. Pat, pat, Got the back. Pat, pat, Bam, we good, we good. And so, now is your opportunity to put in the comments, apologize to somebody or some bodies that you have wronged, whether on purpose or by accident in your life. Let it out, be free, free your soul. So put it in the comments. David Spates, if you don't know who I am now, you know.